Experience the height of luxury with private jets, exotic destinations, high-performance cars and beautiful women. Indulge in the ultimate lavish lifestyle where money is no object and the possibilities are endless. This was the life of the infamous stockbroker, Jordan Belfort. Also known as the Wolf of Wall Street, is a former stockbroker, motivational speaker, and author. He rose to fame in the 1990s as the founder and CEO of Stratton Oakmont, a stock brokerage firm that engaged in widespread securities fraud and manipulation. Belfort's actions ultimately led to his conviction and imprisonment for securities fraud and money laundering. Belfort's rise to fame began in the late 1980s, when he founded Stratton Oakmont. The firm quickly became one of the most successful and profitable stock brokerage firms on Wall Street, with Belfort earning millions of dollars in commissions and bonuses. Jordan Belfort had many wild and crazy stories throughout his career as a stockbroker and CEO of Stratton Oakmont. One of his most outrageous stories took place during his time at the firm, when he and his associates were known for their extravagant and excessive lifestyle. One incident that stands out was a party he threw on his yacht, where drugs and prostitutes were said to be readily available, and the guests indulged in wild and debaucherous behavior. It was reported that Belfort and his associates even went as far as to throw a dwarf at a life-size dartboard in the Stratton Oakmont offices. This incident, along with many others, helped contribute to the negative public perception of Belfort and Stratton Oakmont, and ultimately led to the downfall of the firm. Stratton Oakmont was wildly successful making millions of dollars per day. It was soon revealed that the firm's success was built on a foundation of fraud and manipulation. Stratton Oakmont used a variety of illegal tactics to inflate the prices of penny stocks, including pump and dump schemes, insider trading, and misleading and fraudulent representations to investors. These actions resulted in substantial losses for many investors, while Belfort and his associates reaped huge profits. In 1996, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC began investigating Stratton Oakmont and Belfort for securities fraud. The following year, the National Association of Securities Dealers NASD expelled the firm from the securities industry and barred Belfort from ever working in the securities industry again. In 1999, Belfort was indicted on multiple federal charges related to securities fraud and money laundering. He pleaded guilty to these charges and was sentenced to four years in prison. He served 22 months in prison and he was ordered to pay back $110 million in restitution to his victims. Belfort's story was later adapted into a 2013 film, The Wolf of Wall Street, directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Belfort. The film was a commercial and critical success, but it also faced criticism for its portrayal of Belfort's actions and its glorification of his illegal behavior. Despite his criminal past, Belfort has continued to be active in the motivational speaking and business consulting fields, with many critics arguing that he has not fully taken responsibility for his actions and has not made adequate reparations to his victims. Belfort has also been involved in several controversies since his release from prison. He has been accused of not fully paying back the restitution to his victims, with reports suggesting that he has paid back only a small fraction of the amount he was ordered to pay. He has also been criticized for profiting off of his criminal past through speaking engagements, book sales, and other ventures. Belfort's story and his methods for success has been viewed as controversial and unethical by many, despite his claims of being a changed man and a reformed person. Many people argue that Belfort's actions as CEO of Stratton Oakmont caused a lot of financial loss to the investors and the public. Despite the controversies surrounding him, Belfort has remained a popular figure in the business and motivational speaking world. He has written several books, including the memoir The Wolf of Wall Street, 
which detailed his rise to fame and fall from grace. He has also given many motivational speeches and seminars, sharing his experiences and insights on how to be successful in business. Belfort's legacy is one that is surrounded with controversies and criticisms, and it serves as a reminder of the negative consequences of greed and illegal actions in the business world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more.